Welcome to Mom Talk. Happy New Year. I'm Anna. So glad that you are with us today. Our topic today is discouragement. And we know that moms are so susceptible to experiencing discouragement on many different levels and in many different areas. And so I am joined by some of my favorite mom, moms in the world. We've got Christine and coming very soon into the chair, we're gonna have Michelle. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we wanted to start with Christine because I know that you have quite a story of just a time that you've gone through some discouragement. So let's tell, share some of your story with us. So I have three boys and um, I had relatively easy pregnancies and healthy kids. Amen. And uh, it, was a, it was a blessing and they're, they're great boys. And then um, we decided in 2011 that we wanted to adopt. And we adopted from China a little girl who had a known medical need. She has a cleft lip and palate. It's not a surprise. You can see it when you look at her. Yeah. Um, and um, we were told that her palate was repaired. Okay. and her lip was repaired. And so oh, okay. we went through that process and yeah. brought her home in uh, November of 2012. Okay. But when we picked her up, she was five and a half. Yeah. And she was wearing size threes, which were large. She weighed 24 pounds. Wow. Her head wow. is the size of a 10 month infant oh. uh, in the United States. And her voice had this hollowy, echoey sound. Okay. And after a couple of days, we realized that her palate was not fixed. Wow. We didn't find out until we got home. Oh, and she couldn't breathe at night. So oh, she would wow. gasp through the night. Oh my goodness. And um, they tried to show us how to stick a piece of Kleenex in her nose to keep her oh, breathing. Wow. And it was pretty terrifying. Right. Oh. So and your so the world was really flipped upside down. Oh. It was. Yeah. Yeah. So in 10 months, she was under anesthesia five times. Wow. And then we had a break of about a year. And then she was, um, she had a major surgery where they cut out her temporal muscle and oh, her cheekbone and put that back through her mouth and tried to fix it. Yeah. And then it failed three days later. Wow. Oh, Christine. It was like the worst thing ever. Oh, like right. she, um, like it took months for her face to look like it had. And, uh, wow. and then at that same time, our church was experiencing some difficulties, some, okay. some, uh, and, and people were leaving. Yeah. Right. And so like our friends, our support network oh, were leaving wow. like oh. one after the other, after the other. And yeah. it was devastating for us right. and, um, trying to figure out how do we move forward with this? And, and during this time I had two ladies, I mean, I had friends who stood beside me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had friends who walked away because it's just too much drama, too much stress. Right. And then, but I had two ladies who I know kind of on the fringes, okay. you know, through Facebook and through okay. church. Mm -hmm. And, and one of them sent me a Facebook message that told me that they were looking at pictures of my son and that his eyes had lost his joy. Oh, and God. what happened to my son? You know, why? Devastating for a oh, mother to honey. hear those words. I, it was crushing to me, right. you know, like people had told me that I had changed and, right. I, and I knew that and yeah. I knew that I was dealing with a lot of stress. Right. Yeah. But to hear you tell me that my child, my, you know, the closest in age to our adopted kiddo has lost Aww. his joy. Yeah. I mean, it was like a dagger right. through my heart. Well, yeah. right. And then I had another mom who just came up to me one day and said, I have a gift for you. And she just handed me a card, I believe, and there was a gift card in it for a restaurant and yeah. a, just a little note that says, I see you and I see the work that you're doing and I just want you to know that you're Aww, inspirational to me. Wow. And so what a contrast. So you have <laughs> yes. one friend, well, so-called friend, who is you gotta wonder if she was trying to be helpful, but really yeah, just and she was not the sure right she context. Was concerned about Correct. Jude, right. but it just didn't handle itself very well. So oh yeah. if you have somebody in your life that is struggling and you need to give them encouragement, don't right. give them more negativity. Trust me, they have enough. They know it they all. Know it. Right. Mm -hmm. That note of encouragement was something for me that was. You needed. Yeah. It was the Amen. beginning step to help you pull out of. Right some of that discouragement Correct. that, to know that, that you're you are not facing. Alone. Correct, amen. Right. amen. I'm so glad Absolutely. that you share that because we do have moms who are watching that have 
children who are chronically ill and they are they're in that situation yeah, all yeah, the time where yeah. they're dealing with that mm -hmm. or children with special needs and it is an extra challenge and I think we do have to come around each other as a community of women to encourage one another because yes. we can slip into that dark place of discouragement so easy when it just seems like there's no end to the situation. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Michelle, do you ever struggle with discouragement? You know, I probably could have, but I was such a happy child growing up that I think I learned how to dismiss things a lot easier. Okay. But for me, once I became, you know, a child of God and, and recognized that, I think I just have a different perspective on things. Okay. I mean, I have gone through a lot in the last two years, yes, you know, and right. I could have gone down the discouragement trail, the trap, locked myself in the door and yeah, never came out. Absolutely. But I, I think at the end of the day, every night I would go to bed going, okay, is this really my will or am I encouraging his will? Mm. And I had to let go of my will. I mean, wow. obviously being a child of God, right. marriage is something I definitely wanted. I did not want the divorce, but right. at the end of the day, I have to make sure it's not about me, mm -hmm. it's about God and wow. doing everything I could to glorify him. Yes. And that was really what got me through that right. is seeing what his will might be knowing mm what a family should look like, what love should look like. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't in that marriage, I had to l allow God to let that go. Uh -huh. I couldn't hold that back. Right. You know, and I tried to hold on. I did. I had the I grip bet. of God mm -hmm. on my hand. I was like, I am not letting this go. Yeah. But I had to once I realized it, it was my will and I needed to do his will. Right. And so for you to stay out of that discouragement trap, it's really about fixing your eyes back on Christ. Absolutely. And yeah. knowing that he has a will for yes. good, absolutely. for hope, yes. to bring prosperity into yes. your life. And so to keep your mind and your thoughts fixed on that. Again, but again, right. having support, having friends that you can talk to who aren't discouraging, but will, if nothing else, just listen. Just right. blankly listen to you and allow you to get that off your chest mm -hmm. for being that support. I had people in my absolutely. church write it's me so cards. Weird. There were just a few, but because they didn't know what to say. But one literally said, right. I have no words on what to say. Just want you to know I'm here. That yeah. meant the world to me. It they does. had no clue. I didn't know what to say, but to know that they were there for me regardless is what I needed to hear. Right, mm -hmm. such a big difference. Yes. Now we have Jacinda who is coming to us by video. She has a great tip for you. Take a look. So you're sailing through life and then disappointment and discouragement happen and suddenly your boat isn't floating quite as well as it should. But what's the remedy for that? Encouragement. You see, when I'm disappointed, my eyes are on my problems and not the solution. Encouragement reminds me that God is the solution for all of my problems, both now and forever. So encourage yourself as long as it's called today. It's today. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> so you can encourage yourself. You can have other people come around you whenever you feel like you're in such a dark place and that you're really not able to encourage yourself. I have found that to be very true in my life. Our time went so fast today. We have so much more that we would love to share with you on this topic. Next week, if you come back, we're going to be talking about joy and how to reclaim your joy, how to hold on to your joy. And so it's along the same line. So make sure that you come back next week for that. Thank you so much for being here. We're praying for you and we hope that you get encouraged today in the high calling that God has put on your life. Have a great day.